could stay like this Forever following you Just don't get too far And I'll be right where you are Hello everyone, Abby here with Purple Cottage Crafts and I'm back with another um, item up for sale that has been handmade by me. So this video is going to be titled as Butterfly Journal D because I've made multiples. So this one is the D, letter D. And what you get is this really pretty cool um, craft large glass seam bag as well as this handmade um, uh, journal for me and then this embellishment pack plus a surprise item as well. So for this embellishment pack is just a glassine bag that I ran through my embossing folder. Really, really pretty design. There are four decorative napkins in here and then a couple sheets of wax paper that have also been ran through my embossing folders. A couple different patterns there as well. And then this really sweet little decoration on the top and this little satin flower cluster. Really, really cute. And then as far as the journal, this is, this is why I'm calling it the Butterfly Journal. Really fun stamp from Finnebear with Prima. And then um, some acrylic wheat spray. And then I have some uh, really pretty pink flower and this, this Prima flower here. Really, really cool. Now this cotton, uh, cotton strip is not attached to the journal, so you could um, use it for something different if you want to or make your own closure if you want to do that. So this is the cover without the little cotton strip on it. And then here's the spine. And then here's the back side. Really, really fun fabric. And then down here I have a handmade with love a button and some purple yarn because I'm a purple girl. And then my little signature strip right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into the journal. Now, each page, except for the covers, um, has been covered with a, a light coat of some gesso, and the edges of the papers have also been distressed, and some more gesso on them as well, just to kind of give it another look of texture. So on the front cover here, I have a little pocket made out of some fabric. I have a little one of my collage bits right there in the bottom corner. And then I have some tags and that I've tucked inside here. Now this one I did not make, but I thought it was really super cute and I wanted to include it. It says hello and it's got some uh, pink tool. This is one I made just out of some basil paper. This is um, just some fabric washi. And then I just made two little eeny tiny little paper folders with some of my coffee paper. I just made it, I cut it down to the strip and there's just some cotton trim on there too act as a closure or to pull it out if you want to do that. Now there's still plenty of room in here to add additional tags if you want to do that, note cards, pictures, whatever it is you want to do. Your journal so you can you know decorate it, um, as you wish. So, so the pages are, are different sizes and different widths just to kind of fun uh, kind of visual look there. And then I have some tissue paper on the back of this cardstock here. Some more of that fabric washi. Really fun print um, cardstock there. And then this is some vintage dress pattern paper that I got from my grandma um, after she passed away. And this is a, a large sheet of my coffee dyed paper that I make. And this is a 110 pound um, cardstock. This attached to the book with this rusty paper clip with some lace on the top. This is a postcard size um, piece of watercolor paper. So you can use it for watercoloring or whatever, or if, uh, you know, kind of whatever you, you want to use it for. I'll show this up close so you can see the clip there. This is a really pretty piece of paper. This is from DCWV, I believe, and this is cut down to a different um, width. This is some heart tissue paper, um, kind of, um, you know, collage to the back of this cardstock, and then some light gesso. Really pretty Marion Smith paper here. Some more washi tape. Another piece of cardstock. Now, this is a little tuck spot that I created here in the corner, and it has um, my collage bit right there. Really pretty floral cuts and some fabrics and uh, the vintage button right there. And then these are just some little strips of uh, different size sheets of some paper. I, I did do them some corner rounding on these. I thought they were kind of fun because it kind of matched this, I thought. So that would be kind of cute. Oh, I didn't show this to you. I just now noticed it. On the back of this uh, paper for this little tuck spot, I did put some uh, wax paper toward just kind of uh, like a little bit of visual, um, you know, kind of like a really fun kind of visual um, textural type thing. So I thought that was kind of cute. So it goes all the way around the three sides of that little tuck spot. 
some more designer paper. Here is one of my rusty paper clips. This is with a tag that I quickly made. Um, this is some vintage paper dictionary sheet. Just put that down there just for looks, I guess. And then I have a little cutout piece with some cardstock paper there. This is a new... I'm trying to remember which paper company this one's from. It's really cool. I like that brand too. Or that paper. Really cute looking. Okay, so I did some really pretty... Um, painting on the back side of this with some white tissue paper. I love that bright kind of teal. Here's more of that fabric washi. And then here we have a sheet of vintage dictionary paper with one of my coffee dyed um, heart doilies. And this is a strip of paper down the center. The back side, more of that fabric washi. And then here's the back side of that really fun paper. This is just a piece of paper here that you can tuck. I didn't put anything in here, but you can if you want to. Let me just grab pieces, scrap paper. So it's not glued down all the way, so you can put something in here if you want to do that, okay? And then a little, it, well, I guess you call it a little tuck spot. It's like right there in the corner. And then the back side of that paper. And then in this little coin envelope, I used some um, washi tape so it was easy to open and close again. And this is just an altered little coin envelope, as well as the pieces of paper inside. They also are un... Um, you know, I didn't do any altering to that, so you could do that if you wanted to do it yourself. There's some really pretty pattern papers, different sizes. You can use them to write quotes on or, you know, journal, whatever you want to do. And then here, a few positive affirmation pieces. And hello. And then this one says a more, more ampersand, and then this little star here. So just some fun little paper bits to put in there in case you want to add you know, extra stuff to your journal, you can certainly do that. Put this back over top there. And on the back side of this is some more of my copy paper, but it's been crinkled and then flattened out. And then this is just some graph paper. Now this paper here, these two sheets, this one and this one here, these are newspaper print paper from Seth Cole. They're just newspaper without the actual printing on them, so they're really fun to play with couple different types of washi tape here. I thought those were fun to kind of play with the different colors. Again, it's about part of that heart tissue paper page. And then getting to the back here. This, um, these are just like, this is just a quick tag I make from that really pretty paper. I think it's from DCWV. I'm pretty sure that's who makes that one. And then I just added some more little strips of paper there. Again, unaltered so you can do with them what you would like. And then on the back, here we have this one. I just love this paper. It's so cool. Really, really fun paper. And so that's, this is a Butterfly Journal D. So this will be $65, including shipping here in the U.S. If you live outside the U.S., it'll be $65 plus shipping, which will depend on where you live. And um, you're going to get what, what you see here, the journal, the craft bag, the embellishment pack, and then of course, um, some extra goodies for me. So if you are interested in purchasing Butterfly Journal D, please leave a comment in this video below indicating that you're interested in, in this journal. I need you to put the you know name and the letter and then follow that up with an email to my purplecottagecrafts at gmail.com letting me know that you were interested in purchasing Butterfly Journal D and then I need you to include your shipping information as well as your PayPal information because PayPal is the only form of payment that I um, take for my different handcrafted items. This will be first come first serve. So as soon as this is sold, I will come back to this video and in the title section, I will put sold all in capital. So everybody knows that this particular journal is gone. All right, I'm gonna go and wrap this video up. So happy scrapping, happy planet and happy crafting. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.